Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, uh, Pastor Joel. Now, uh, the Lord Jehovah he has been speaking with me for the past three days consecutively about the big, big, big historic anointing, the fresh, in fact, the way he presented it is uh, the fresh, tremendous healing anointing, the fresh healing anointing that will visit South Africa when he brings me to Durban, the healing service. So there is going to be a big visitation of the fresh healing anointing of the Lord that will visit South Africa. And this is going to be very mighty. It's going to be a very, very mighty moment, a mighty visitation of Jehovah in South Africa. A fresh healing anointing, a newer and fresher and lax healing anointing of the Lord is going to visit at that healing service. And so this is uh, yet again another moment when the Lord is reminding South Africa that this is their hour of visitation. We are all aware that when Jerusalem forfeited her hour of visitation, then it became very tragic. And we are aware that the Lord wants to visit South Africa now. And these things are inscribed on the Bible, even as Jerusalem, Jerusalem, or oh, Jerusalem. How I wish you had known that all I ever wanted was to gather you. Uh, the hen gathers her chicks under her wings. And it's very defensive when they gather their chicks under their wings. And so it is my prayer that South Africa will recognize that this is the moment when righteousness will enter the pulpit of the church. The moment for them to behold, the moment when repentance, a wave of repentance revival sweep the hearts of the believers in South Africa, the pulpit, the clergy, the pastors, the shepherds, the servants, that uh, there may be a renewal, a revival in that land. Because I've seen a mighty, mighty, mighty fresh anointing. He has consistently showed it to me. Very fresh anointing. I don't even know what he's going to do there. It's going to be so big. Severally, three days consecutively. Very fresh anointing that is going to visit that land, visit South Africa at the healing service a fresh healing anointing of the Lord, the fresh healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. And uh, this is uh, important, that when South Africa will make those gains of righteousness, when the gospel will now change to holiness, and uh, when the pastors will embrace the correction to remove the nation from the doctrinal error, that uh, doctrinal mistake that had championed uh, the things of the world, the ways of the world, that now in that moment will be held in South Africa for them to transition, for them to make, begin, commence and make substantive gains in preparing the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah, the Holy Way. I think that is going to be a celebratory moment in the kingdom of God because that will mark uh, the revival, that will mark a new journey with the Holy Spirit, the journey of this day, of this hour. And uh, it will also speak and mark uh, God's love, His wonderful disposition of love towards the nation of South Africa and the city of Durban. And I know that this revival will move from Durban and uh, go to other African provinces. And uh, it also comes with a greater responsibility on the part of the pulpit. The responsibility that requires that uh, the church deconstruct from herself the old ways of sin and the apostasy, and now reconstruct the new mind frame, the new spirit of revival and righteousness, the spirit of the Lord. And uh, a responsibility that uh, tells the church that you cannot receive this and lose it now, because time is over. 
a responsibility that requires of her, of the church, the clergy, the pulpit, the shepherds, the pastors, that once they receive this, they need to start a learning process to learn how did Kenya sustain this for all these many years. And I think that would be a beautiful place to be if the servants of the Lord, the pastors in South Africa, can humble themselves to that place of learning. Learning in this day and age. The day and age of know it all, when everybody wants to prove that they really know it all. But the Lord is saying that I'm going to do a new thing. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. Behold, I do a new thing with you. And that new thing will require great humility, great uh, childlikeness, as the Lord puts it in the Bible, that the kingdom of God is for those who are like these little kids. That innocence of being open to learn. Because for sure, yes, this revival has not visited many nations. It has not visited the nations before. It's a new thing. And uh, the wisdom of the Lord requires, dictates, demands of the church to learn. And uh, I can see that there's going to be the beginning of a major revival in South Africa. One, the Lord will find the servants of revival, the pastors of revival, those that will be able to develop a new cadre of faith. Because most of what you've seen in the church that has afflicted the church in the form and name of apostasy has essentially come from uh, this uh, horrible faith, faithlessness that has been at the pulpit, where there has been lack of faith among the pastors, not even believing that without corruption God can sure provide for them, not believing that when he preaches squarely, pure gospel of repentance and holiness and the return to righteousness, the observance of a holier living, the moving from one glory of holiness to the next, uh, the, 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 the adorning of the garment of righteousness and garment of repentance, you know. The, 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 they don't believe, they do not believe, they don't believe at times that out of that still the Lord is able to to, to watch and take care of them. So this is now the moment at which the Lord is speaking to the church in South Africa. And it looks like now the heavenly delegation is all focused on South Africa at this hour, on the big thing the Lord will do there. The open heaven that is trumpeted across. And I've said that I see a very blessed moment when... Uh, the Lord brings me there, and then the heavens will open, and some tremendous special rain, the torrents of the blessing of the Lord will come down over that land, and make a tall column, and then it's only on one side, and then eventually later the wind sweeps it, goes on and covers the other, the other side. And I see at that, some of the meetings, I see, uh, I see, um, some people sitting there, some pastors, one of them is light-skinned with a red shirt on this other side. I, I see things already from here, and uh, that means the Lord really is now focused on the mission of South Africa, and he is instructing regarding that mission that South Africa may prepare for its visitation. And again, like I said, it's beautiful to be visited of the Lord, but it's even much more beautiful to sustain the visitation until the day of the coming of the Messiah. So I see a fresh anointing, a fresher anointing, a fresher healing anointing of the Lord that will sweep that meeting when he brings his servants into that meeting. And a very fresh healing anointing is going to visit the land and bring the relief, reprieve, and healing bring a mark of testimony into their lives, leave an indelible mark that uh, they can use to to, 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 to gospel, to, to evangelize, and to win souls for the coming of the Messiah. So 
mine is simply to bless the nation of South Africa and to tell them that I've seen the Lord my God speak so much about South Africa. I've seen him bless and love South Africa. May South Africa be found ready and worthy of this mega historic visitation of the hour. Shalom, may the Lord bless you all. I have seen the Messiah coming recently again. So it will pay for all the nations tuned in to prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah, our Lord and Savior, Emmanuel. Thank you. Shalom.